Welcome back. Pay no attention to what you heard before. <laughs> <laughs> On the break. <laughs> About Dave's disgusting life. Yep. Yeah, we were trying to get to the, the ice mountain, dude. It's raining, though. Not even, it's not even snowing. It's raining. It's, it's freezing rain, though. You should be well aware of that by now. Old big deal. We, we do, we do got to clean the house, actually. Oh, well, we have been cleaning. Yeah. The, the bathroom's pretty good. The kitchen's pretty good. I'm, I'm going to do the studio, actually, after the show. No, actually, you know what? First thing I'm going to do is finish the goddamn video because it's nearly fucking done. Then I'm cleaning the studio. I do need to work in my room, though. Yeah, I know. I guess I'm doing laundry. Mm. Yay. I'm going to do some, too. The laundry's been on the line for, like, two days out back. I want to get that shit done. Well, let me go first because... Why, Dave? Because I'll be gone at some point. I'll be gone in a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly a thousand dogs just started screeching. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, the viewers all have dogs and they're just like, ah! Oh! <laughs> they just start bleeding out of their ears. He's cat now. Last time we did laundry? Two days ago. Yeah, it's only been a couple oh, days. Oh, nice, dude. Nice, nice, it's nice. Not, it's not the, the, the you know, the recentness of yeah, I have, the I have, last I have, load, I have it's just the fact that I have more to do. Yeah. Including, well, I gotta do my bed sheets. Make Naomi clean. G is a gender traitor. He needs to atone for becoming part of the patriarchy. The SFO patriarchy, dude. Well, Naomi was cleaning, though. The SFO triarchy. Naomi has to go and try to become an animal doctor. Yeah, she's just going she's to, just, to, she, to help she, all. She needs to help all those, those thousand dogs. On the break, she actually went to ruptured. school. Yes, yes, on a drawing line. Nobody. I noticed that like certain things in the United States that are really, really common here are just alien to them. Like drawing lines are one. Clothes lines. Um. Yeah, yeah. But also, um. There's only Italian immigrants use those. Also, um, reusable cloth bags. For for groceries. Yeah. Fuck. Like if if you're in the states and you go to a grocery store and you have like a reusable cloth bag, and you just say, oh no, no plastic bags, please. They look at you like you're fucking like Hitler. And it's like, if you dude, are, you are Hitler. Dude, do you mind? I'm trying to not fucking ruin the environment any more than you Americans already do. Oh, was there a crack? Fuck you, fucking oh, cocksucking well. bitch! Hello, Gwen. Not you, Gwen. What the fucking bitch was? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm just gonna ignore here. the crackle unless it happens like once every minute and ruins the entire fucking show. Otherwise, I don't care. I can't fix it anymore. So, I think you can do this, man. So close, though. Gotta get better at it. Ugh. Gwen's like, I'm a cunt sucking bitch. Why? Because not being hetero. Here's the thing, Fairy. Um, everyone in Canada has reusable bags. They're so common here. Yeah, they became very common about eight years ago. The year we started SFO. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, that was might have been before then. It's okay, Lady Lara and I. Thank you, though. Bitch. Dave is wearing the same pants from the last stream. Dave's just a fucking filth lord, dude. That's all it is. What's wrong with what's wrong with wearing pajama pants? Are you are you judging me for my opinion? No, it's the same ones. Wash them, you fucking I know, I'm disgusting going to. moose man. I was going to. They're 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 going back into the, the laundry hamper and they will be washed. No! <laughs> Almost dude, you gotta get just get better at it, man. Get better. Here's what you should do. Here's what you should do. Jump Let's... over and do the first wall jump on the other jump using your double. What do you mean? Double jump. And then walk, then... No. Fuck! You stupid cocksucking bitch, fuck! Double jump, and then wall jump off the lip of, of that, of the right wall. That's okay. not enough. We live in the Canada, the USA, so what is that, like, either Massachusetts or Seattle? Austin. <laughs> probably can't do it, Dave. Probably have to just, that's probably like a way down on a way up. Unless, no, pro yeah, probably Seattle, actually. Go somewhere else, for fuck's sake. There's an entire map to explore. Oh, God. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get that video out as soon as we're done here. Massachusetts? Mass effects? Well, it's not, it's not Maine. Do you live in Martha's Vineyard? <laughs> it wasn't named after Martha Stewart because she grows really good grapes. Yeah, Dev. She's a, obviously it's named after. It was named for her 300 years ago or whatever. 200. 
Why this vineyard's been around for quite a while. That's all I can say. Mm. Anyway, yeah. I think probably the, the part of my video that's probably going to go over maybe the least. the least is my discussion of abortion in there. Because I vehemently disagreed with Ben Shapiro on abortion and I kind of provided like a, a pick apart of his argument. What's his argument? His argument is that every um, every line that you draw on regarding abortion that is not at conception can also be used against adult humans to, to, to remove them of their personhood rights. What? Yeah, think about it. Like, okay, you say, well, guess what? Um, for abortion, it's like, okay, you, let, let, let's set the, the personhood right thing at the heartbeat. 13 weeks or whatever it is, right? As soon as it's a heartbeat, you can't kill the baby anymore. Because now it's a person and not just a... Not just a clump of of, of, of unconnected cells. cells. Fine. They well, then, well then, there's a face. Well, well then, then, then what do you do about people who don't have natural heartbeats and need pacemakers to run their hearts? Like your sister. There you go. So, so, your sister, so, so your sister. It, it, if you say this person is not a person because they have no heartbeat, then that also removes personhood rights from everyone who doesn't have a heart. I, I can see the logic there. I understand the logic. Well, there's a heart. It's just it can't really function real on its own. But that's what I mean, though. Yeah. It's the same thing as as um, a fetus, right? It has a non-functioning heart. We just got it, Darkana. Oh, sweet. Okay, and then what? What, what he also has said, like, you know, if you, oh, what, you just charge up and just throw a big bomb? Well, that'll probably get you through some of those areas, but in the past. Yep. Yeah. Sixtieth trimester abortions, <laughs> um, and then he's just like, okay, well, how about an instance, for example, where you, let's just say that you can you can abort up until the day of birth, like one day before you're, you're, you're due to give birth. It's not it's not a person yet. It's just date of birth is when, and there's there is a convincing argument for that because we use the date of birth as the start of life for, in so many other things legally, you know, yeah. like. We use it for the start of life regarding any kind of license, any kind of like government ID. Social, yeah, so yeah. social insurance. Yeah. Okay, do, you mind, do you mind fucking going somewhere, Dave? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Hmm? Oh, repeated use, just like the regular carrot will give you. Yeah, it's actually hit somebody. <laughs> Fine. Okay, you oh, found the bitch. You found the, the other snow girl. Okay, here you go. So, yeah. If you do that, I mean, that, that sounds honestly horrendous because, you know, if a, a baby can obviously survive one day before birth, you know, it's, it's or obviously... several months. Yeah, but st still, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it doesn't, it's like, ah, fuck, like, you can't really draw the line there. But then I was like, okay, I understand all that, Ben Shapiro, but you know what? There's also a problem with, um, with stating that legally life begins at conception. There's also a problem with that. And my logic was that um, if you do that, and Arizona has already fucking done this. Arizona, Arizona has already done this. In, in, Arizona's a trap. And it's, um, it, it had, would you just fight, fight them, dude. Use a fucking hammer. Um, Arizona had like a recent court ruling that stated that if a mother is pregnant and has a miscarriage, or a mother gives birth to their kid and there are various deformities or other problems, right? The mother is responsible for that miscarriage or responsible for those deformities and it is considered to be either child murder or, ch or child abuse if the mother did not take adequate care of herself during the pregnancy. Except that sometimes it's just a matter of well, that's mutation what I mean. that you can't yeah, really and, and in those instances you can't. You so can't. it's saying what? You have to get gene therapy or else you get sued? No, no, no. What, what it's, it's not saying that because there is there is a stipulation based on um, the like just genetics. Like, oh, it's, it's not even your fault. But like, if there's evidence that the mother drunk. Yeah, FAS. And, and then and the kid has, you know, fetal alcohol syndrome. Um, well, then the mother can be charged with child abuse. And that sounds kind of convincing. However, the problem with that is that another Arizona piece of legislature states that 
Uh, not it, it states doesn't necessarily state that, that life begins at conception, but it states that mothers because mothers are responsible for that shit, they can be charged. If they're not on their periods, they can be charged for potentially endangering a child. So if you're a woman in Arizona and you're not currently on your period and you're drinking mm -hmm. alcohol, you can be charged with endangering a potential child that you may have inside of you that you don't know about yet. What the fuck? Because life begins at conception. That's the stupidest. And people say, that will never happen. It's already happening in Arizona. Like, that is where this type of lawmaking yeah, well, leads. They're not exactly the, you know, head of the pack when it comes to progression. No, 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 they're not. But at the same time, you can't discount that. No, it just makes me sad that that, that is a potential thought. <laughs> so, this idea that life begins at conception is good. I understand their reasoning for it, but it completely removes the civil rights of every single female citizen. Yeah, counter argument: Ben Shapiro is a man, but birth of new life literally only concerns. And, the, and there's also that too, like like Ben, ben Shapiro, he, he he said that if if a if a fertilized egg is left to its natural processes, it will become a baby. And I said, no, it won't. There have been many studies done that show that more fertilized eggs will spontaneously dissolve. Oh, you missed. Go back up, Dave. Gotta go back up. Oh. Also, that was the way to the door. The the, the fight too. It, yeah, most fertilized eggs will spontaneously dissolve in the womb, hmm. rather than becoming implanted. Yeah, that sucks. Hard, uh, Doctor Evil. Well, Gwen, that's that's a resources argument, which people can rightfully ignore, even though I don't think you should ignore it. You know, like some people say, well. You know, obviously it's a social good because all those people would have been... Sweet. Oh, nice. Okay, now, you, now you just go back down and get it again. Yeah. Some people will be like, well, you can't... You, you can ignore the resources argument. Ah! You have to use the hammer dash. Yeah. You can ignore the resources argument because, you know, people still have a right to life and, like, not having enough shouldn't... Like, you shouldn't kill somebody just because they're a burden. I understand that that point of view. Right? It, it, it makes sense. Okay? You shouldn't... Kill, remove life from somebody just because you believe that, they, that they're a burden to you. Fine. Um, so people who ignore the resources argument, I understand why. Because you, you, technology can always provide more resources. You know, not enough food to, to feed these kids. Maybe the next innovation in farming will provide more food to feed these kids. You know, that's... There's an obvious social good that comes from that, but I, I understand why people ignore it. Um, my, my issue with it is that Putting life at conception would criminalize a wide swath of regular behavior that is normally not criminal. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's, that's acceptable at all. Yeah, don't trample over people's civil rights. Don't tread on me! Must kill all fetuses before conception. <laughs> they just like, start punching guys in the dick. Before conception? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's gonna be the new one, Dev. Oh, fuck. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Yay, I got money. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, money there. That, that's the Jewish point of view, is that life, life starts when they take their first breath. But here's the thing. You know, I've, I've seen J Ben Shapiro talk before. He was on the Joe Rogan show. He's done other things. And he's very clearly not, like, um, a religious Jew. He's a cultural Jew. He doesn't really seem to care for old Jewish law. Anyway, that's my her. stance on abortion. I'm sure it's fucking controversial. Not someone probably hates me. Don't worry about it. That's fine. Oh, but here's the thing. You're glad that's Nintendo's not here. <laughs> I was actually pissed at at one guy and who was questioning Ben during during his his talk on abortion, because he was like, I was like, dude, you could have beat him at this argument if you just didn't be a pussy. Like the guy had all the right arguments to say, but he just gave in when he shouldn't have. He was like. Ben's like, okay, well, what about this? And then he was like, actually, I'll just say it. Um, he said, um, I believe that that you, the the requirement should be sentient life, and that fetuses aren't sentient, and that human beings are sentient. Oh fuck. I was like, okay, well, I understand that. Fine, I, I get it. Um, and then Ben was like, well, can I kill you when you're asleep? Because you're not sentient when you're asleep. And I'm just like, no, you. 
Dude, you're, you're still sentient when you're asleep. You're just fucking unconscious. Like, sentience does not mean consciousness. Yeah. But the guy's like, well, uh, uh, and I'm like, no, don't give in that point. You're right. And he's like, uh, I guess you're right, Ben. I guess I'll just suck your giant Jewish peen. Circumcised Jewish peen. Or animal people? Uh, no, no, fairies. Like, I actually know exactly the perfect solution to the abortion bit, which would satisfy everyone, but I won't say it because fuck you. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that? Sterilization. <laughs> Oh, you got both the twins. Now you can get a double blue jab. It's because they're blue, so it'd be a blue jab. A blue hijab? They're just, they're blue, and they just jab you. Oh, That's what it I is. thought it was a blue hijab. <laughs> Deb, yeah. Deb, didn't you know that Quebec is just the the best place for religious expression that's not Christian. <laughs> I've heard about it. A ball tree production. It's super gay. <laughs> well, well, Bunty King is from Quebec, and he's like, I understand the point of view that if we take in too many immigrants, he's he's in Montreal. He's like, I understand the point of view. He's, he's like a Sikh, right? Oh. He's like, if you take too many immigrants, then Canada will lose its like its part of its culture, and that if we have like an over 50% Muslim population that wants to vote in Sharia law, democracy would be fucked. However, we're not anywhere near there, and I think a lot of reasonable left-leaning people will will speak out long before that happens. And I'm like, I fucking hope you're right, dude. Yeah. I honestly, I just don't even care about anything going on in this story. You're doing. We just, I mean, it's just... Like a cover for a Metroidvania, so it's like whatever. Go to the western gate of Rabbi Rabbi Town. There you go. Well, nobody's watching. Like the, the main reason that that the crime rate dropped drastically in the U.S. in the 1980s, like we're, we're talking like 95 percent of crime gone, is because a lot of those kids that would have grown up to be to be criminals weren't were born. In, they were aborted in the 60s. Yeah. So like, there's a massive, there's obviously well, a massive social 70s, good. 70s. No, it was 1960 something. Like it was, it was, it was late 60s in the states. Like 67, I think. Yeah, but Roe versus Wade was in 73. Yeah, yeah. Also, abort like uh, birth control came about in 60s too. So basically, 50s. It was late 50s actually. It was made legal in the 60s, Dave. I know it came about in the 50s. It was made legal in the 60s. My my point is, is that the reason that the United States has you know, regardless of what you might see on the news regarding, oh, things are terrible with, with crime, and they actually aren't in the States. They've it's, gone down a lot. Uh, like, it's certainly gone up in the past couple of years, but, but it has been a steady decrease over the past 50 years because of birth control and abortion. And that's like a really tough pill to swallow. It's like, you want to outlaw uh, abortion, okay. You're bringing back all the crime that happened. You know, you're bringing back like, like Great Depression era levels of you're crime. Bring, you're bringing back kids that that can't be supported. I mean, I, w I worked with kids that some of them. Of course, the argument is like the the, the counter argument to that though is Dave. Would you rather they be dead? And I guarantee I'd, you, I'd rather, they would say if, if they I'd were, rather there be a system that could support them, but it doesn't exist. Well, so. sure, but but they but here's the thing: so that system doesn't exist. So you go to that kid and say, "Listen, kid, uh, how about I kill you?" But first, I'll wipe the, the memories of your entire life so you never existed, and I'll just shoot you. Feels good, would you man. prefer that, or would you prefer yeah, feels good, would you prefer continuing to live in your terrible, flawed state? They would obviously say, please don't fucking kill me. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's, it's a tricky situation. You gonna buy a charge belt? Go for it. Why not? How about a bunny whirl? Why not? Or a pico hammer. That might be good. I mean, go for it. How about a carrot bam? I can afford balls. Oh, there's a super carrot one there too now. There is. Okay. Yes. Yes. Which one's Bunny World again? It's the, the Luke Skywalker move. I mean, like jump up in the air and, and spin. Spin. Wah, 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 wah. Fuck yeah. I mean, that'd be like, that was like the ultimate move in um, the Super Star Wars games. Yeah. The Luke Skywalker jump. Oh my god, those are good games. We gotta play. We gotta fucking play those in the show, dude. We gotta play everything, Dev. We're gonna. I mean, we have. Dave has like ten years, but I have at least another fucking sixty or seventy. So we're playing every goddamn show in the game. On the show. We're playing. We're playing every show on the game. That's what I said. Okay. Dev, Dev I wish you. Had, I wish you worked at an abortion. Next episode, uh, we're gonna uh, actually no. We'll just abort this episode. <laughs>